If your drone won't take off, then the best plan in the world isn't going to do you any good at all. So in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss how we can unlock a restricted airspace so that you can fly it with your favorite program. There are several steps to this, and I'm going to quickly take you through each of them so that you know how to do this before you get on site. The first step is to create a profile on the DJI FlySafe website. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. If you go into the website, there are instructions on that. This is a one time thing. You won't have to do it again, but it is important that you put in as much information as possible and ideally set yourself up as a company because that gives you a better chance of getting approved. The next step is to create an unlock request and submit it for approval do that in the same area of the website. You just hit confirm after you've entered your details. In almost all cases, you're going to be looking for a custom unlocking. If you want to do zone unlocking, that's a more advanced procedure. And here's where you fill in a whole bunch of information about what you're going to be doing. The first thing that you do is you put in details about the drone that you're going to be flying and the pilot who will be flying it. The drone, you can only do one at a time, unfortunately. So if you have multiple drones, you're going to need to submit multiple requests. Once you've done that, you end up with a map view and you can put in your search criteria to find the location where you're going to be flying. Once you've found your location, you draw on the screen to show it where you want the unlock to be. This can either be a simple circle, which is often the way that I do it because it's easy, or if it's more complex shape, you can draw polygons. Once you've defined the shape, you need to give it a name. And this is quite important because this will make it easier to identify later on in the app. The longitude and latitude will already be there in the radius. If it's a circle, it's going to be there. That's based on what you drew. Now you put in the time range. It's not actually a time, it's a date range because it's always active for a whole day. And then the altitude that you're going to be wanting to fly up to maximum. Then enter the unlock reason code. Um, in almost all cases, if you are flying in restricted space, what you're going to be saying here is that you have FAA approval up to this altitude. Now, obviously, you can only say that if you do have FAA approval. And my assumption here is that if you're flying in restricted space, you've already submitted for an approval and receive that from the FAA. Once you've received that from the FAA, download it as a PDF, click on the upload button and include that here. That's a very important step. If it's restricted space, it's highly unlikely that you're going to get them to unlock this area without that. Once you're done with that, hit the submit button and wait for an email from them that says that your submission has been accepted. Once it comes through, it will look something like this. The email includes a link to instructions for various different versions of the software and different drones. You can follow those instructions, but I'm going to take you through that in the next step. So the next step is to use the DJI app to import the unlock to the drone. You can do this before you get on site or you can do it when you're on site. In this case, I'm doing it while I'm on site. And as you can see at the top, it says cannot take off. So what you do is you click the three dots to get into the settings area. And then this is on a Mavic 2 Pro. You click the three dots again and you'll see there's an area that's called unlocking license. Click on that and there's two tabs at the top. One says app, one says aircraft. The first part that you're going to need is app. This will show you all of the unlocks that you have available, but not necessarily which ones have been loaded onto the aircraft yet. Find the unlock that you're interested in and click on the blue import to aircraft button. This will load it into the drone and then you can use that to turn this on and off in the drone in the aircraft tab. Now you're ready to switch on the unlock in the DJI app and confirm that you are allowed to fly there. This is done in exactly the same area as you were in before but in the aircraft tab. Find the unlock that you're interested in, and this is where the naming that we talked about earlier is very important. And use the toggle switch to turn it on. 
you'll be asked to confirm that you are authorized to fly there and that you bear responsibility for this flight. And once you've done that, you can exit to the main screen. Now, when you exit to the main screen, instead of saying cannot take off, you'll see it says special unlock and it will scroll around to tell you what the altitude limit is. You can now close the DJI app and switch over to the software that you actually want to use. In this case, I'm using DroneLink. If all has gone according to plan, you'll see ready to go in green at the top and you can push the start button and start your mission in the usual way. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to receive your comments, so feel free to let me know your thoughts. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any future episodes. Bye-bye.